Today I'm bringing you my top five black TV shows on Tubi. I'm the Tubi plug. Smash that like and subscribe for me, and let's get to it. Number five on my list of black and hood TV shows, McGraw Avenue. This show follows a street hustler called Murda and a group of police officers as they try to rid the drug and violence riddled Detroit streets of its criminals. Murda is a genuine but dangerous man trying to survive a dangerous game in a dangerous place. McGraw Avenue really brings home the reality of life in the hood. The show is captivating and has a pretty good cast of actors. My only complaint is the quality of the sound as it's kind of tinny, but in an odd way, it adds to the realness of Mc McGraw Avenue. And if you watch a lot of Tubi, you're sure to see some faces you recognize. Number four on the list is The Transporter. The show follows Kiki, who is a driver for a rideshare service. One day she picks up a rider who asks her to turn off the app and then offers her a pretty good amount of money to take him on a run. Unsure, but needing the money, she agrees. As she goes to drop her rider at his final destination, he offers her a more permanent and lucrative job to be the driver for the organization he works for. Again, she agrees and handles herself so well, she ends up with the top position when the boss goes to jail. But being at the top can make for a long and deadly fall. <laughs> Number three on the list is Be Someone. In Be Someone, we meet Lavelle, a former star high school athlete who's walked a pretty straight line through life as he takes care of his wife and kids. But he recently lost his job and is struggling to find another. When hard times call for desperate measures, he goes to a loan shark to borrow some money. But when he can't pay it back on time, he learns exactly who he's indebted to, the local head of a cartel. They don't want to kill him, though. They see something in him and make him their transporter. Lavelle has a difficult time accepting his new role. He'd sworn to never get into that life and risk leaving his wife and kids without him. But he doesn't have too many choices after they threaten his family. And none of those choices are easy. Coming in at number two is Lovecraft Country, which follows Atticus as he searches for his father. This is a wild ride of a sci-fi horror adventure that will keep you on the edge of your seat. I'm talking witchcraft, monsters, and even a time machine that takes us back to experience the 1921 Tulsa race massacre. Lovecraft Country presents an interesting take on race and race issues as the main characters travel through 1950s Jim Crow America. I would absolutely love to see a second season. And to be honest, I don't know why they didn't produce another season. Maybe some of the themes hit a little too close to home. But I'm all in on Lovecraft Country, and the number one black show on Tubi is The Dirty D. This show introduces us to Brick, a savvy street hustler and businessman who owns a club called The Dirty D. This show is just juicy. The Dirty D brings all the drama you can handle. No one is to be trusted. Everybody is sleeping with everybody. Relationships are as thin as a strand of spider silk. Brick's closest colleagues want his position, so they're looking for any crack they can slip through and take over. The police have Brick in their crosshairs, and they are doing everything they can to get someone inside his organization. But Brick is smart and refuses to be easily dethroned. The audio and video quality are good. The actors shine. There's conflict around every corner. This right here is a banger. No wonder Peacock picked it up for their streaming platform. You gotta go check this one out. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more Tubi recommendations. You know I'm gonna keep giving you the Tubi tea.